For this practical, you will learn how to do a ombre, reverse ombre, and an ombre highlight. So the first thing we would have did was set up our SMA. We have a video on that already, so refer to the setup of SMA. Next, we would consultation our client. That's also in the setup SMA video for hair color. Then we will put on our safety COVID-19 shield and mask. So let me put that on. So I have it on so you can see. Next, we will put on our gloves. Then we would mix our color or our bleach. So we would mix up our color and our bleach. So today my client, she wants to have a red hair. And this right here, because it is reusable scoop, I'm just going to take a piece of tin foil. Wrap it in the tin foil because it has the color on it, and put it in the items to be disinfected. Then I shall take my red because she wants red hair, even parts if it's color and if it's bleached to the consistency that you like, as long as it's not too runny. I mix up my color. Now when you're doing an ombre, you want to always remember, V for victory. V for victory. I think I'm going to do a little bit more red. So it can be a little darker. Because it's a little too light. And I might add a little orange in it. Because it might, it'll make it a little bit more darker. More orangey red. you can really see it, that's a better color. See how you can mix colors to make a color? Okay, that's a nice color red, I mean, you can really see it. Put my other pair of gloves here just in case. Sanitize my hands. Just because I need to sanitize them before I start. So now when you're doing a reverse ombre, ombre or ombre highlight, you would always start in the back. You start in the back and work your way up. Start in the back, work your way up. You can pick your quadrant that you want to do. 
you can go one quadrant, two quadrants, three quadrants, four quadrants, or you could go one quadrant, two quadrants, three quadrants, four quadrants, and your back five quadrants. So I'm going to do it in here like usual so you can see it because it's easy to do it here so you can see me do the application. So the first application I'm going to do is the ombre. Now with the ombre, some people like to use the paddle and you can use the paddle or you can freehand it if you want. You can do freehand either or. Now the purpose of ombre is to have a bold look. A nice bold look. You wouldn't skip. You would not skip. You would do each section. Small sections. And the reason why you would use a paddle is because it'll help you when you're doing the V for victory to get a straight line. So with the ombre, I'm going to do it on the paddle so you can see it. So with the ombre, you don't want to do it up too close because if you start up too high, what's going to happen is your V is going to come up this high. When you start from the bottom, you always start lower here and make your V. Then you go a little higher, maybe after you do halfway through the bottom, you do halfway point, you will come a little more higher. The closer up you get to the apex, you would go higher up. So you shouldn't go any more higher up than this area right here on the hair, depending on how long your hair is. Because your V is going to end right there. So the first thing you want to do is figure out your main line. It's a little bit too much on here. Take some off. So you want to figure out your main line. So here is my main line right there. That's where I want to start my, uh, my V. So I'll go here. I'm not going to put hair here because I don't want my gloves to be messy. And if you were freehanding this, like this, you need to hold the hair. So let me do the freehand. You would hold the hair. And you don't want to get your gloves messy. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come on the sides and you want to hold your brush straight up. And you see that I'm not really getting anything and you see all this product on the side of this brush. I don't need that product. It's not doing anything for me. I need to have product at the ends of the brush so that it could do so. This is what I want. I want the product at the end of the brush so it can do something for me. And see how I have to pinch this and hold it. And I want the product at the end. I always want these two lines to be even. Then I want to do my next lines. And I want them to be even. Then I'm going to do my next ones and they're going to be even. All the way till I get to a V shape. And you only want product here. You always want to keep your brush straight up. Straight up with the brush. Straight up. And you want a V for victory. Then... It will look like this. I put the board up underneath it so you can kind of see it. So if you're done with the board, it'll help you get a little bit better control because you have something to base your V to be able to do your V and get a nice smooth V. 
I want that point just like that a nice smooth V it doesn't have to be a perfect V but you want to see some type of V and then you can just go in and put the color at the bottom if you want now when you're using a paddle and the hair is this long you would need an extra long paddle because you don't want to have to touch the hair then you would just get a piece of foil sit it up under here slide your paddle out you can let the hair hang if you want to or you could just put it on the foil either or it can hang down and put on the foil you're not going to close the foil up because if you close the foil up then the product is going to get here so you don't want the foil closed you want to take another foil and you just want to place it on top like that then you go to your next one so now if you notice I have product on my comb I don't want to go in there and slice with this product on my comb so I want to take my tissue You don't want to come out today. Okay. And get that product off the comb. I'll do one more so you can see it again. Always remember V for victory. V for victory. So this one, I'm going to put completely freehand now because you have the fall here you can use it as a helper so the first thing I want to do is decide where do I want my V to end so I'm going to place the product there just a little bit hold it tight and you see if you if you notice if I'm holding it tight I'm pushing it into my triangle already so you can call this a triangle or I call it a V. So I'm putting it into my V shape already to help me establish my V. I only want product right now on the very end. I, want, I don't want my brush tilted like this. Do it like this tilted. I don't want it tilted halfway. I want it completely straight up because I'm trying to get fine detailed lines. And you must see your product. If you don't see your product, you're not going to get the color. If your product is fainted like this, like this, fainted, or let me go down here because you can see it better. If it's fainted like that, you're not getting enough product on here. This is bold color. They want to see the color. So you want to get the product on the hair. You need to see your product on your hair. And here's my V. Now you don't want to do that. So what you can do is you could turn your glove over you gotta make sure that the camera see me. You could turn your glove over and you can paint on the back end of your glove So that when you turn your hand back over, your hand and your glove is still clean. You'll place this, another piece of foil, like that. So now the next one I'm going to do is the reverse ombre. The reverse ombre is the opposite of the ombre. It's the opposite way. It's the opposite V. It's very hard to do. So with the reverse ombre, 
you're only doing the base of the hair. So you want, you don't want your V to come down like this. You don't want a V to go this way. You don't want the point to go that way. You want the point to come this way up, like this. So the best way to do a reverse ombre is first, you will put the color on the root. And you don't want to go too far down because when you start making your V, you don't want to have it way down here because the whole purpose is to change the new, you would consider this like new growth or the root of the hair right here. So you just want no more than about this much. Now the easiest way I could do this is always remember that the brush is not facing this way because if you go this way the brush is always facing towards you so if you're standing over here make sure that this point is always going to face you face you and all you're going to do is go like this the best thing to do and the easiest thing to do is to go here and put your brush down like this and put some color on it. take your brush keep it here and just flip it over and put some color on it. Now I'm using this tinfoil to show you. But you would freehand this and flip it. You see? It's here and I'm flipping it back here. And you see my V? Now the line is perfect. I don't want a perfect line like that, but I wanted you to see that I want the point to be here because this is a reverse V, so the V goes this way for victory. So this line is too perfect. So what we're going to do is we're just going to feather it out and kind of drag our V a little longer. That's why you don't want to start too far here, back, because I actually should have did less back because... Look at how long my V is going to be. And I just want to kind of feather that V out. So the most important thing is to remember, you don't want to do your V this way. You don't want this to go this way. This brush should not be facing the same direction as you. If this brush is facing the same direction as you and this is pointing to you, you're going the wrong way because you're going to go here and then you're going to go here like that this should not this brush should be facing away from you and the bristles should be coming and you always want to do it at a 45 degree angle 45 degree angle you just and to, so you won't get confused you just 45 degree angle your first your first side Flip it over and 45 degree it the second side. So let's do this one more time. So this time, put a piece of tin foil in between it. So this time, I'm going to do it freehand. And I'm going to next, this time, do a little bit less. I'm not going to go so far down. Let me turn her head a little bit back so you can see. Okay. So this time I'm going to do it freehand. No, not on the tinfoil. So the first thing I want to do is, I want to do it at the base. So you might want to do it only about this much. And it's okay if this tinfoil is here and you do it on the base and it gets on this tinfoil because you're just working in the base area anyway. So it doesn't matter if it bleeds through. It's okay. About this much. Then you want to 
form your V. You're going to put it here. And then you want to flip over and here to get that V. Flip back over and establish a V. If you want to pat it or if you want to put it on smooth, let me hold the hair because I don't want to use the temple. If you want to pat it or put it on smooth, put it on smooth and rub it in. And then you come in and you start making your V. Don't go down too far. And if you do, just lightly, lightly. This one is lightly, lightly down. You're just trying to break that line up. Break the line up. And then you put it down. That's it. Usually with a reverse ombre, you'll be doing darker colors because they want their roots a little darker than the ends. And sometimes you'll do a reverse ombre because somebody went up and did an ombre too high and they and they didn't like it, so they wanted the ombre to come down some. So then you would go in and you would do a reverse ombre to pull that original ombre down off the hair. Next would be an ombre highlight. So with an ombre highlight, you would do what I taught you in the previous video, a weaving. So I'm going to take a little bit thicker piece of hair. And this is why I taught weaving first and this second. Because you need to know how to weave. And that's the most important thing to learn how to weave. Because a lot of color applications have weaving in it. So the first thing we would do is weave. And if you don't remember how to weave, refer back to the weaving tutorial video. So I'm going to weave. And you want to get an odd number. Six. Not an even odd. Seven. Nine. An odd one. So hopefully I have an odd one. So let me count them because I will count my weaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, perfect. Seven. Okay. The first thing I want to do is put it in the middle. It's just like doing an ombre, but a little bit different. So I'm going to put a piece of tinfoil here so you can see exactly what I'm doing it'll be a little easier so the first thing I want to do is put it here and you can use your paddle too so I'm going to put it right where I want my V to start so now the easiest thing about the weaving is you have seven lines so this is easy to do a, a highlight ombre you go with the first line and this is you go take the first line and you go high you take this outer line and you do the same length. You make these two the same length. The exact same length. Now if I had this pinched together, you would see it a little better. So you make, and, and, and you should always pinch it because it, it, it holds it tighter on the foil too. Okay. So now these two are the same. Now I'm moving to the next two, which is this one and the end one. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter, but I'm going to make these two the same length. A little bit shorter. Take this up a little higher. A little bit shorter. Then I'm going to move to, let me split this. Right split this well okay that's fine because this is my middle one make sure you can really see this so then i'm gonna move to this next one so that's the one i made it a little bit shorter right there now i'm gonna go here and i'm gonna make it a little bit shorter and i'm gonna make this one a little bit shorter and i'm gonna make these two even and then my last one this one I'm going to make it a little bit shorter right in the middle. 
So the whole purpose is, is I have my V coming this way and I have my V coming this way. So you take the two outer ones, you make them the same. The next two, you make them the same. The next two, you make them the same. And then the last one. And you always go a little bit shorter on each one so you can get your V shape. So you can get your V shape. Then you would just put, your, put it on the back of your hand and color out the end. So I'm going to do one more of those two, so you can see it. I'll try to get maybe five thick ones. Let's see if I can get five thick ones. And always remember, when you're doing ombres, V for victory. Let me see if I can get one. I'll try to make this one two. No, the hair wants to separate the way the hair wants to separate. What I, the reason why this hair is so separated is because also when I wash my doll head, I try to when I'm doing stimulating products. One, two. I mean, let me count my weaves. Three, four. Okay, this is an even one. Four. So I'll show you with an even one because you might get an even one. Four. I keep conditioner on my hair. Oh, I got five over here. I keep conditioner on my hair because it helps the hair and the product doesn't stick to the hair as much. So when it's time for me to clean my doll head and wash it, it's easier. So, okay, here's four. Okay, let me just pick this one up so you can see the five. So it'll be a little bit easier for you. Okay. So, here's my five right here. I have five up in here. I'm going to throw and go and take this piece out. Because this hair really wants to give me a little bit more than five. It wants to give me only four. Okay, it only wants to give me four. So I will make this one here. And I will do this one the same length if I have four. These two the same length. And see how I was holding my brush down and I wasn't getting product on it? You still have to hold your brush up high. Hold your brush up high. Then I will take this one and make it the same length. And this one make it the same length. For my four. So you always want to make the two outer the same length and the two inner the same length. And you want to go a little bit shorter to get your V. Then I'll put my here. So you want to make the outer ones. The outer ones is the easiest ones to do. To make the short. Then you take the next two foils. Let me split these. I was trying to split them in five. Okay. You take these two. And make them the same length. Come on. These two make them the same length. And then you make that middle one. A little shorter. To get your V. And then if you want to, because you have your full, you can just place the color on the foil. And take it all the way out. Oop, back of my hand. I'm on my hands dirty. And take it all the way out. And that's how you do. The first one we did was an ombre. The second one we did was a verse ombre. And then the last one we did was an ombre highlight. The ombre and the ombre highlight is the same technique. The only difference is with the highlight you're doing weaving first. 
and you're taking and you're making sure with your weaving you try to get an odd number if you can if you can't you can't just always remember make if you make the two the outer two the same length and then go from there and make it a little bit shorter the next two in the same length the next two in the same length until you get all the way to the last one and you make that shorter and you always go a little bit shorter on each one if you have any questions you can contact me also don't forget fill out your client card your procedure sheet front and back to let me know exactly what you did and how you did it.